Hey, this is Eric with Sailing Not Shore. Today, we're going to be taking all this stuff here and turning that Portland pudgy into a sailing dinghy. Coming up. All right, everybody, welcome back here. Uh, we got our Portland pudgy. So, got that. And uh, you'll probably notice there's a, a fuel line going all the way around there, but that's going to be in another video that uh, is coming up. We'll show you about that. That's about my motor alteration, so we'll talk about that later. Right now, we're going to talk about the sail kit, setting this Portland Pudgy up with the sail kit. It's not really as bad as it looks. I mean, the, it's got a really good manual. If you look down here, you can see here's the owner's manual. Uh, it's laid out pretty nicely about the boat, very in-depth. And here's the sail kit right there. Tells us how to do the sail kit. And it's got, uh, tells you how to do the exposure canopy, which we'll probably do a video of that, uh, but we don't have that in yet. And uh, the para anchor, we're not going to get the para anchor, but uh, it's a well laid out manual, uh, electrical system, which we do have the electrical system in this one. All right, but we're talking about sail kit today. So let's get down to the sail kit here. All right, so did the unpacking. We've got several pieces here. I'll kind of describe what everything is. Over here, we've got, this is the rudder. This is the tiller. Now these are boat terms. This is how you steer it with a rudder and tiller. So if you never had a sailboat, rudder and tiller is for steering. A couple of lines here we'll go after. There's important lines. This is the boom. We've got a cover to cover the whole kit up. We go to store it. This is two parts of the mast. They're both, one's extendable. Uh, we got a couple of straps here. Those are actually for the two dagger boards over there. Uh, the dagger boards go in the sides of the boat to help with stability and while sailing and pointing or moving forward. And of course, we got the sail. Brand new sail. Nice and crinkly. Brand new. Like brand new sails. <laughs> so, where to start? So, uh, well, let's look at the manual. <laughs> How about that? All right, so it's a nice picture of this about sailing tips and all. That's good. About how to reef. Now, reefing's more advanced if we want to get into reefing. We're not going to get into that today. Shows you everything we got here. So we've got everything here. And first thing he's going to talk about is the rudder and tiller assembly. So um, the one thing that we're doing, we're doing this on land. Uh, so the one thing you've got to really be careful with is that this is done in the water. You really have to be careful because this will sink. It's heavy. It does not float. It will sink. So make sure to be careful when you put this on. So we're going to put it on land first. So the way to do this in the tiller... So it's always good to put the tiller together with the with the rudder. So the way to do this is you line up those little pinions and gudgeons, which are these things here and these things over here. Pull it into here. Okay. There's a little safety tab. We'll push that in as we're pushing in the pinions here. Okay, and kind of seat it down in there. And you see this tab pops out right here so that it keeps it from coming up accidentally. Push it in. In fact, they used to have a little black tab on here. I think I lost it, so I gotta get another one. <laughs> All right, now we can pull the rudder portion down. It has these little holes right here, which has a little ball in there that will stop it in its position. So when I go down to here, a little ball pops up and then it'll stop there. So I'll put that down for now. This is the tiller, which goes part of the rudder. And you can see there's a little hole there, a little post that goes in between. So normally that it would sit right like that. Of course, of course that creates a little problem because we've got to get that into there. So I'm going to lean it back here, push it in, push forward on it. And there you go. Now you've got your steering system. Okay? All right. So like I said, now the one thing you want to, when you pull this up, you're going to want to leave this connected, um, the actual tiller handle connected when you pull it up. So that, just in case you're on the water, you pull it up, you still got a handle on it, and the tiller rudder shouldn't go dropping in the water. Okay? <laughs> back up so it's not hitting the ground <laughs> there we go <clears throat> okay next thing we've got over here is we've got the two dagger boards okay 
Okay, and dagger boards come over here. Like this into here. Same thing on the other side. Under there. Okay. Now when this drops down all the way, running in the water, this ball will stop it from dropping all the way out. Otherwise, this drop all the way down and then the water goes. They don't float either. <laughs> so um, it does have also where you can set it to where it stays up. You see these two little indents here. You can actually put a line around there, attach it to over here somewhere to keep it, if you want to just, just have it sit there and be ready to go down. Since I made that last video, I did some modifications on the lee boards, dagger boards, whatever you want to call them. So I'll go ahead and take a look at these. And what I did, so I'll undo in here. Let's pull them out. Okay. You'll notice <laughs> there's some holes. <laughs> I put a couple holes in it. Um, not my greatest work on that one. Pretty good on that one though, but not so good on that one. But regardless, so here's what I, here's why I did this. So normally, if you put them down, they're gonna go all the way down. That ball is gonna stop it from dropping. Okay, and then you can also move this device right here to keep it from going down further as well. So I thought, well, gosh, that's already there. Hmm, I wonder if I could use that. Oh, look, I can. So this is if I want to have them ready, stowed, with nothing, really anything down. And the other position, so I thought, well, I could make another position here. Haha. -ha. So this position here is basically for beaching. Because I've beached this boat already. So when I'm sailing, I'll beach it and I can bring it up the beach and that will actually hold her when it sits down on it. It'll actually hold it straight up and flat and won't go back and forth. So that's the hand I have to have is, is have that. So that's the modification on the uh, dagger boards, lee boards. All right, so we'll have to go finish the other video. <laughs> Otherwise, okay, that goes there. And then you saw the two straps. These two straps here are for holding the boards when not in use. It goes there. Top of it here like that. like that and they strap in and then they'll stay when you turn it over like that they'll stay in place and that's how you store those now the rudder you can store so we'll talk about that a little bit since we got it out again push that pinion down here the little tab comes up okay and you put that back and we'll have to pull this out a little bit pull that back and give it a little wiggle to come out of the slot that's in there. See that that slot here, and then this stores under the seat here. And you're gonna want to get a um, probably something along the lines of a bungee cord or a rope that with this little part here up to here back down to hold that in place. Okay. All right. So that talks about that. Went over the lee boards, dagger boards, some people call them, and tells you everything about what the sails are. Now we don't have a gaff rig sail; we have a full sail, the straight edge, straight head on top. So it's a little different, but not too bad. All right. So talking about putting the boom up and putting in the uh, fully extending the mast and putting the sail on the mast. All right. So. Let's go ahead and look into that. We got our mast here, sails over here. We got our boom right here. Okay, so let's pull our sail out. Ah, love the crunchy sound of new sails. Mm. Okay, I'm just kind of laying it out flat here, so. You See the whole shape of the sail and see what it looks like. 
And one thing to note, like I said, this is going to be easy, but the initial setup is going to take a little longer. And you'll want to get eventually get a system to take this on and off the boat, or set it up on the boat and take it down, tear it down on the boat. And we'll get into that whole system, a system I came up with. It seems pretty, pretty easy. Uh, but the initial setup takes some time, so don't be dis discouraged by, hey, this is taking a long time. Well, the initial setup does take some time. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we want to, this is part of the mast here, the top part. We're going to insert it into this pocket here. Okay. And that pocket has a stop, so that stop. We grab the mast here, and you can see the silver part, that's where it fits into the boat. And you've got a little push button that pops up, so we want to push that in. Slide this mast down to this whole position here. So you see these strips of tape tells you where these are. That's the extent of it in between, and there's the other one, and there's the pop. There it is. Okay, there's our pin. All right. We want to insert this into here. Okay, and then this part has a hole right here. Goes into here. Like that. So, there we go. All right, now your mast is together. So. We're going to go ahead and move this over to the boat. Alright. So we got it on the boat now. You can see it sounds like a new sail, nice and crinkly. <laughs> Take this webbing connected to here. This webbing here is for reefing, which we'll get into some other time. You can look up reefing. Alright, so that attaches it to the, the mast. So we're attached to the mast now. Alright, next thing is to grab the boom. Alright, the boom is also extended. can be extended. So you want to open it up and again you're looking for a mark there it is okay and then it attaches this yoke down here attaches to there like so just push it on okay all right we'll just lay that down for now and come over here and work on the control for it which is this is called a main sheet and attached to that main sheet is also Traveler, so we'll get into that in a minute. I'm going to take this pulley down here, and I'm going to take it and kind of get it beyond this connection over here. Now I'm going to pull it down here through this button, and let the button come back up, so that'll hold it there. All right. So I've got it all coiled up here, so I'm going to take this coil apart. <clears throat> Nothing like new sail noise, huh? It's like a new car smell, new sail noise. <laughs> Alright, so you can see I have this pulley here, and I have this line with a red ball and a little knot here. This is going to be the traveler, the one with the blue ball. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off this knot take that apart and leave the pulley here okay now we need to take this and create a traveler out of it to make it into a traveler wait for the sail to whip me <laughs> put through this hole here and again these are all the instructions so the blue ball catches then we'll take that same pulley it was in go through the hole at the bottom of the pulley okay and then feed it back into this hole here. Okay, so it creates a little bit of a triangle there. And then we're going to feed it through this pleat here. 
come up. This cleat here has little teeth on it. We'll go about an inch or two in and pull back on it. Push down and back here. See the teeth are grabbing it right here. So you see the teeth grab it as you pull on it. Okay? So that's going to keep that tight. Okay? So essentially now I've made what is called a traveler. Let's see it. Okay. And so that's connected to the main sheet. So we're going to pull in the extra rope here. Now the one thing I did was right here is a stopper knot. I put that in there so that it would stop it from going through that pulley. Okay. So we'll take that. And pull. We'll pull all this way through here. All right. So you can see back here now that we've got it coming through this pulley, all the way through here, down this pulley, up around this one, then it stops at this knot here. So that this is the control of the boom as it moves the sail in and out. Okay. All right, now we're gonna connect the sail to the boom. Do that, they got a couple of webbings, the red ones. Grab this, pull it around here, and you can see that it's got a little catch here, you turn. And that holds that up. Come over here and grab the sail. <laughs> it isn't flopping around. <clears throat> Pull that up. And go ahead and do the same thing as the catch there. Alright, so that puts our sail on our boom. And a little problem though here, it's kind of sliding here. So they have a fix for that, <laughs> which is we get into some sailing technical terms, but grab both of these. So the thicker one is going to be the one we'll use on here. And this is part of the sail is called a clue. <sighs> yeah, get a clue. All right, so first thing we're going to do is going to attach this rope line. It's rope. So you put it on a boat, then it's line. <laughs> so we're going to put this through, and I'm going to create a knot called a bowline. So I make a little hole here. Rabbit comes up out of the hole. <laughs> Heard this one before, have you? Come around the tree, back down in the hole. Okay, that creates a bowline. Bowline's a handy sailor's knot. It can stay for years and comes apart easily, even after years of being outside. They have a little trick I'll show you. It's called breaking the back of the bowline. So you've got a bowline or bowline. Turn it over. You can see how it's unique, the loop. You turn it over in the back, and you see this rope line here and the one here. You pull this back. And pull that out that breaks the back of the bowline and opens it right up but otherwise she holds great for pulling all sorts of stuff i use it for lots of things besides chain. all right it comes through this pad eye here and we're going to pull it tight now you see that that pulls the sail in tight now we've got a little cleat here it's kind of a little fun to get in because they uh, melted this end so it makes it a little fun to get it through there i got lucky it went through pretty easy so pull tight on that until you nice and tight and then you pull up on it and there's a little slit right here that you can see that it digs itself into right there you can see that slit and that's how it holds it all right and we can just wrap that around there if you don't want it dangling all right so that's good there now the other thing we need to do is that other rope that other line up here it's more of a this is called a cunningham now basically you want to put it through this pad eye And we want to put a knot in there. Let's put that even. <laughs> I'm going to do hopefully a square knot. But no, I did a granny knot. <laughs> Backwards. No, that's a square knot. Okay. All right. So you get your knot up there. And then they want you to uh, bring it around here, around the mast. Pull down on it and tie another knot. Now, if I use this more often than not, I'm probably going to do something different to make that quicker. <laughs> but otherwise, that's that holds the boom down, pulls it down, keeps the keeps the sail tight. All right, and that is it, really. So now you've got your sail all hooked up there. And you have your control line, your main sheet, in order to 
pull the sail in and out. And then you can use a cleat here to cleat it off. But most times when you're sailing, you're actually going to be holding on to it so that in case you get a big gust of wind and it tries to push over, you can let go of this pretty quick. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to pull this all down. But the way we're going to do it is we're going to put it away with a little system I've come up with to make it easier to pull it all out when you're on the boat to do it on because you don't always have a place to sit and do it at. So, all right, we'll get to that here in just a second. Okay, for this next part, we're gonna actually do a water simulation here. I have my swimming pool. <laughs> and we're gonna put the dinghy in the swimming pool. And that way we'll get a better idea of what it's really like to take this thing apart on the water. <clears throat> All right, we have a successful launch. <laughs> So you have to back here and take a look and get a better perspective. There we go. See? All right. <laughs> in the water. Okay. So let's get in and pretend we're actually in the water and go from there. I'll take this thing down. Okay. So it's always good to know to balance your weight and all while you're on the boat as much as you can. Um, typically I'd have the rudder and the center board in, or the dagger board, lee boards, but we don't because we're just doing the sail part today. All right. Okay. So we want to take this down, roll it up, and make it easy on us. <clears throat> so we'll just do everything the way we did backwards. And we got a little wind going, so it's pushing us around. Typically, you want to have, if you're not in a pool, <laughs> you want to have your rudder and your lee boards down so you have control of the boat if it starts doing silly things. You know, you want to be able to control it and move it around. Okay, so undid this line, the kind of what they call the Cunningham. And then over here, I got the Traveler. So I want to pull this all the way until it hits the stop or not, right there. All right, come back here and want to release the traveler. Pull that out. Pull that out of that pulley. We'll take that out. And then we're going to take it and put it back in. And we're going to tie just a quick knot at the end because we don't want to lose this. Okay. All right, now I'm going to pull in all the extra sheet, main sheet here. And I'm going to turn around because the wind is blowing it that way, so we'll go that way. All right. <laughs> okay, so let's pull the extra. Okay, pull the extra out. All right. Now I'm going to start coiling it. Now you can see I hit pulley that the traveler is. So I'm gonna use the traveler line to wrap it up. And this is a little sailor's thing. You take and put it through here, back around and through there again. And sometimes you can take it, now it's got a ball on it, so it makes it much more like, put it underneath that last one. And that ties it to where it shouldn't come apart there, okay? All right, so we got that loose, we got that loose. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off the sail. Oh, and there she goes. <laughs> you can see we don't have any control of the sail now. Now we're going to take this off, this webbing out. Come over here, take that off. And now we've got the clue line. Pull that in to release it. 
pull it all the way out, let it go. So now our boom is free from all the lines. And I'm just going to pull it from the yoke down there. So pull the yoke out. And now I have the boom separated. Take the boom. We're going to store it under here for now. Actually, we'll pull it over here and store it there for now. Just store it inside the boat for now. Should probably move this up over here. I don't want to lose the boom in case it gets wavy. I want it underneath there. Oh, you know, there was one thing I forgot to do. That's why I'm like, why isn't this fitting? Oh, yeah. It collapses. <laughs> so the button, push the button in there. That's why it wouldn't fit. Okay. Now I can sort of set it down so it's in there and won't go anywhere. All right. Next thing is, is we got to take the mast down. We got the little pin here, so we're going to take push that in and let it come down. We're going to watch this sail as it kind of goes over there a little bit. And there we go. All right, that come down. We take the second part of the mast out and bring that out. Don't lose your balance. It's like we're really on water. <laughs> All right. Put that down so it doesn't get lost over the boat. All right. Now, by now, this would be in the water getting wet, but that's okay. I'm going to pull the sail in here. We're going to pull the mast out. We're going to walk to the back of the boat. We're going to sit because it's better to sit for balance sake. We're going to put the mast like this. Okay, so with the mast like this, I'm going to pull a little bit of it out, and I want to release those webbings on the mast. Okay, this is the bottom of the mast, the bottom of the sail, where it was attached, where it was attached to the boom. I'm going to fold that in. It's kind of the same procedure you do on land. You fold this in first. The trick is though, you don't have a flat surface to work on, so you don't know flat surface to work on, this makes it a little more interesting. Alright, then we've got the other part, the top part of the sail. And the one thing about the sail is, is we took out the top part, okay, but we have this here, which this is called a batten. It's made out of plastic, it actually does come out, but I've got a way to just leave it in so we don't mess with it. Okay, I'm going to get that parallel. Hold that over and get it parallel with the boom. I mean the bass. Okay, I'm a sailor and I still got my terms mixed up. <laughs> okay, so we're done with the mast. So I want to flatten this out as much as I can. Because basically we're gonna roll this up here right on my lap and get it as tight as we can. Parallel with the mast. Gonna smooth it out as you go along. See, we got the, the clue part of the sail, which I left that line on. So I'm going to use the line to wrap it up. And then I do what's called two half hitches. There's a type of knot here. It's a um, type of slip knot. 
So it'll actually, I can use it to pull and tighten this line once I get it. Okay, so there's two half hitches right there. And I can, so you can see I can pull on it to tighten the slip knot. <clears throat> tighten it up. And you can see now that we have our mast and sail all put together. So we're going to take the bottom part of the mast here. And you can see this, I can just pull that out. And that's the metal part that goes in the boat. So we're going to put that down there. Now. And grab our cover. <clears throat> and again, we're still on the water. <laughs> So like I said, it's best if you're seated when you do this stuff. Okay, all right. So we got our mast in there. Mast and sails all put together. Now we're going to take the other part of the mast, top part, and we'll go ahead and just slide that in there. Like so. Then we'll take the boom part, and I'm not going to use that up in. I don't want to insert with this end because that could tear or pull something. I'm going to insert with this end, which has the rope and pulleys on it. Basically, put that in there with the rope line, the main sheet, <laughs> want to be technical, that line in there, okay, now I can just cinch that up, store it away in the boat, we're done, but let's say I want to use the sail again today and I just did this temporarily, okay, well, there's a temporary storage area I can use, I can pull the mast out, so enough is showing, I'm going to use this to cinch it, Okay, that'll hold in every other piece except the mast part because I'm going to use that. I'm going to come over here, and again, I'm on the water, so it's a little uneven, so you got to be careful. <laughs> I'm going to drop the mast and in like that, and there we go. Now it's all set and ready to come out again. Now, normally, like I said, you'd want to keep the rudder and the tiller attached to the back of the boat while you're doing this so that you have control. You know, I'm in a pool, so I don't think I'm going to go anywhere. I'm safe. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. So normally, again, I'd have this still attached. Now, let's say we want to pull that out and reinstall it. Okay. Well, do that. Again, we've got the lee boards right there I can put back in, but since I'm in a pool, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> so, if you want to use it again, so, and again, you're on the water, so it's best to kind of keep your balance. If you can sit down, it's good to sit down. <laughs> Let me get away from the rocks here. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, there's rocks all around. So, grab that, uncinch it. Okay. Oh, it's caught around my, uh, my line, the docket line. There you go. Okay, you can see that because I did the boom and the extra piece of the mast just go right down to the bottom. Uh, I, now they do say in the instructions when you do it on the ground is you can roll these up together. Well, if you're on the water, you probably don't want to do that because then you got stuff lying all over the place. You want control of everything. So if those are in control, they're coming out. So they're coming out. I'm lifting up here. Now, as I lift up, I'm going to want to grab these two poles. Make sure they don't head into the water. And again, store them under here until I get the rest of this sail set up. All right, so. Next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and release that knot that I have, the two half hitches. Okay, and unroll the sail. I'm going to have to just pull it. And it unrolls. Okay. So we got the sail out. Let's go ahead and grab that. Second mass piece. Find the pocket to thread that in.
pull it up, insert it into there, like so. Okay, now we want to extend the mast up. So pull it here. Find the hole, there it is. Oops, pull it out. <laughs> And find the, oops, there it is, there's our pin. And do the webbing. Okay, webbing's good, new place, all right. Again, now we can sit down and do this. And uh, grab the boom. Make sure that the rope is in the right place. Pop that on there. Do the webbing here. We want to come back here to the back of the boat. And we want to go ahead and get this set up, the traveler and the main sheet. So we'll pull that out like I did. And it's okay, your sail's flopping right now. It's not catching the wind, it's just acting like a wind sock. It's just like a wind like a like a flag, it's just flapping in the wind. That's alright, I make a lot of noise. That's all right. Okay, so here's our traveler, the one with the blue ball. You want to undo the quick, undo the quick knot I didn't. Okay, and then we'll feed this in back here through the hole. Let the blue ball pitch. Then we're gonna come back to our little pulley here. Feed it through there. Okay, and then we want to. Feed it through this hole into this cleat. Give it about an inch or two and pull back on it so it catches. Now we want to grab our stopper knot, the main sheet, and we want to pull this in. So we're pulling in our main sheet and getting it kind of tight there. Oops, gas line caught. Okay, so we can see that's there. That's okay, it's twisted, it, it'll move around. Actually, this is in a swivel. Hmm. So I might want to redo that, actually. It's got a twist in it. Don't really want a twist in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and release this. Do this. And pull that back out of there. Gonna make sure that this is not twisted. Like that, that's good, okay. Come back through there. Back over there. Do the cleat again, about an inch or two, cleat it down. And then here I want to take this. Move this up. Okay, so we haven't extended the pulley yet, so I'm going to extend the boom now. There's my stop. Pulley. Okay. Alright, now I want to grab the sail, which is flopping around. <laughs> Put this webbing in. Attach it. Like so then I want to take the clue line, put it through that, pull it tight, and then I want to put it again through this little cleat, which is getting easier to get. <laughs> First couple times it's hard. I think it's gotten better. All right, and you see that. We now have the sail all set up. We can pull it tight and go sailing. And that took us about, I'd say about six minutes to get the sail back up. So the sail's fully up and we're ready to go again. Now, I don't have, obviously, like I said, I don't have the rudder or the, the, the leeboards in, but you definitely want to have those in before you put the sail up. But since I'm in a pool, I'm not at risk of going very far. <laughs> Anything, I'm gonna beat you. All right, um, that's really it. So it took me about, you know, six minutes to actually undo it and get it going. And uh, it'll probably take me six minutes to put it all down, put it back in again and be done and I can store it inside the boat. All right, let's hit the beach. <clears throat> I'm tired, we need to get in the water. Oh my gosh, I'm hot, let's get some water. Okay, all right. All right. Nice thing about this boat is it's I can actually pull it up one-handed onto the beach, like my beach. Here it comes on the beach. 
and she's up on the beach. So we're ready to go. All right. If anyone has any other really good ideas as far as setting it up and tearing down, please, you know, comment in here. Tell me what you think. I'd love to, you know, I'm not the end all and be all of this. I'm not an expert. Uh, but the system I came up with seems to work pretty well. I think there's some improvements that I could probably make on it. Like, I would probably here do some sort of maybe quick attachment. I don't know. I might do something with that. Not too bad, though. But I might even put a swivel in on the traveler here on this pulley put a swivel here so it doesn't get caught up again the swivel just makes it move so i can clamp clip it on and that would be and that way it doesn't matter how i put it on the swivel would take care of it not getting twisted i think that's probably one of the upgrades i'll be looking to do all right thanks everybody for watching i'm going first one <laughs> okay so made some modifications because that's what I do. I mod the heck out of stuff. <laughs> Just like I did old McGregor 26. Um, so, with the reefing. First thing, i got to get that under control. Make that easy. So, let's take a look. So, here's what I did. Is that when you reef the sail, you fold it up and such. So, I, I basically added these little white straps. Got at Mill Outlet Village. I cut them with a, a hot knife to seal the end. Put a couple snaps on each side using just a basic snap kit from West Marine. Snaps it here. Now I did have to order something special, and this is called a gypsy snap. Okay, because basically it comes in and you use another snap side. So you can put these two together so that I can do drop them on the ground and <laughs> <laughs> so I got snaps on both sides now. Which is basically what I did here. I got a snap here and a snap here. So when I curl up the sail, I can take it, snap it, and now it's held in place and furled. Now I'm going to put three of these in. I put one more here. Snap that. All right, so that's going to hold it in place. Now, when I'm not furled let's say i'm out all the time or stowed or stowed away you know well, i don't want these things just dangling around when i'm sailing because they got metal clips on them and the metal will just slap around and a whole bunch of stuff so i added two more snap points here just using the standard snap backing and because these rotate snap it there same thing here this one snap it there now they're secure when I'm sailing, and I got them in white. You can get them in different colors if you want, but I got them white to match the sail. Um, so now they won't flop around or anything, and they're not in use. I can still roll the sail up and everything like this. Now, I'm not a sail maker, <laughs> so I don't know whether this will work long term, but hey, what the heck? All right, so you're kind of wondering how we do this, um, put snaps on and all that, so I'll kind of show you. So here's a, I've actually done this one already. This is the other strap because they're all the same size. So what I'm going to do is I've got to put on the double snap on this side so I've got my handy little tool here and it's got a bump on this side and this is a round side the round side is for the snap head so you put the snap head and you hammer it with this little tool to push in that center point in there so okay so we're gonna use this side which is commonly used for <clears throat> I'll show you this commonly used for this end because it's got a hole in it. it's got the little nub there so the nub and the hole go together and that's what you use that for uh so for the gypsy snap i'm going to use the hole with a bump on it because it has a hole so that'll kind of keep it from doing this and i'm doing this on my kitchen table so uh put something down <laughs> like wood <laughs> so your wife and admiral doesn't kill you which yes <clears throat> and she will okay so i've got that lined up gypsy snap on that side and i need the snap head this one, that down here. Now, there's one little thing I do. Again, I'm not a professional, so I don't know whether this is something I'm supposed to do. But, um, so I take a little, just a Phillips head screwdriver, this has to be a Leatherman. Uh, but a Phillips head, I put it in here, into that, right there into that, uh, that hole that's gonna be pushed down. Anyway, and give it about, about six or seven taps. And that, kind of starts pushing it away on its own so i've had some bad situations where sometimes this thing gets gets 
bent one way or the other. So I'm probably not doing this right if I'm not. Hey, feel free to comment in hide and give me a heads up if somebody sees a good video on how I'm supposed to really do this. Uh, this is the other tool, which if you look here, it's got the middle head and it's got some rounded inside insert. And that's supposed to help basically push and round that down and push it down so it becomes tight. So we're going to do that, push that down, hold it, and try not to hammer my fingers. I did about 15 hits. And you kind of see it's starting to round over. It's still a little loose because I can spin it. So I'm going to do, I did about 15 taps. And Okay, it's about 12. It's still spinning a little bit. That's all right. Let's give it a few more tabs. It's not doing anything bad. Okay, I felt it kind of move there. It went inside real hard, so I just want to stop it and check it again. I hate having my fingers. Okay, so now it's not moving. I think it's secure. We're good. Got the other side. Yep. All right, so that's good. Already got my heads put on this one, and it's again the same operation as that, just using the other one. Come over here. Flip it. I haven't got this. Roll this stuff a little better. <laughs> rolling, rolling, rolling. Okay. And there's my snap head right there. And there we go. So that'll do a great job in reefing it pretty quick, pretty easy. Now, I need to create the storage when I'm not using these. So as you can see, the nice thing about it, they turn. <laughs> so I'm going to kind of line these up a little bit. So now i got to put another snap head right here. Got my little punch tool. This just punches a hole at the local hardware store. Um, so I'm just going to line that up here like so. And just give it a couple hits. And that'll put a hole in the sail, a nice clean hole in the sail. Yeah. All right, so I want one of the backings and the snap head. So the backing, again, like I said, there's a little knob nub here. So I'm going to put that in the nub and see it just fits right in there. So I'll take that underneath here, like so. There we go. Keep that as good. All right. Same thing over here. Put this down. Again, my little technique with the Phillips screwdriver. I only did five because it moved pretty fast. So I don't want to do any more. Yeah. Okay. Put that tool in. Did about 15. It's tight already. These are a little, little lighter. One thing you gotta notice that I noticed that with some of the, um, some of the kits that they sell and extra sell the snap heads, they have these little indentations all the way around. These are like the shorter ones that are used for like thin material. And then I've got, um, I've got one here that I use that I use for canvas work. Ah, here, here. So you can see the difference between these two. This one doesn't have all those little rivets, little, little punches in all the way around here. And this is actually, this one is taller. If you can make it out, this one's taller than that one. Because I had problems earlier trying to use these. They sell them at West Marine, these cheapy ones, um, with the indentations all the way around. They sell these at West Marine. But there is one West Marine pack that has the bigger ones. And I think it's the 74 pack or 64 pack. And Anyway, but it has the bigger ones. So I had to kind of search around for those. I'm sure you can get them other places, but that's something to keep in mind. This one's taller, so it's better for canvas snaps and all and for webbing. Uh, and these are the smaller ones for shorter material and easy stuff. So. All right, so that's it. Snap them all together and you see now that my reefing system is all snapped together. And if I want to reef, just roll it up here, unsnap the trailing edge, get that little spin, snap it on the other side. There we go. So that's the one modification. All right, second modification that I did. Over here, the boom. So the boom had this block in it, which doesn't have a rotating end on it. Uh, this one up here does. So it already has one. 
So I went ahead and went to West Marine <laughs> and bought a 29 millimeter carbo air block. Uh, I think it's called 29C. It's a 340 single swivel. Swivel. Not, not rotating thing, swivel. So, like I said, this one didn't have a swivel, which was the one that originally went here. This one now, I got it with a swivel so that I don't have to worry about things getting tangled. When I feed this in, this is the Traveler, as I showed in the other video. So when I feed this in, it really doesn't matter how it does it because it'll swivel. So it, this won't get tangled. Like a couple of times it got like this and I was like, oh man, I have to unthread it. And Well, guess what? No, I don't. Pretty easy. All right, so that's the other modification. Uh, the third modification I'm gonna do has to do with tying down this to the actual um, tying this down this boom tying it down into the mast so what I'm going to do here is bought a little little Ron Stant cleat it's a small C cleat cam gray uh, yeah, gray I'll match um, so what I'm going to do is instead of tying this around like that Again, I'm, I'm just trying to make this all easy on myself, so I've got that. So I'm going to do a, a bowline here. Out, down, come through the hole, down, around, yay. Okay, there's my bowline. So that'll come down, wrap that around the mast, like so, come back up, and then this is going to get attached to the seat. So this position, so that when I pull it up, I can pull it tight. And pull it through and it'll stay tight like that until I decide to release it by pulling it like that all right so that's the theory uh, we'll actually test it once I get back out to the dinghy and actually and kind of work that out so and uh, we'll show a video of that here in just a few minutes all right now they got my trusty parrot cam you guys good all right parrot cam yeah okay so we're gonna go first thing is grab the main sheet because it's just dangling in the wind. <laughs> All right, so let's take a look at the modification I did on the main sheet here with the pulley. Okay, so here's the main sheet and here's the traveler. Now this is the new pulley I put on, which has the swivel. You can see the swivel here and there's the old one which has no swivel whatsoever. So yeah. All right, so we'll take the traveler off. All right, and feed it through that hole like we're supposed to to the ball. The ball comes out, then we'll feed it. I drop it. <laughs> feed it through here. Back through this hole here, and down to the cleat, and tighten it up. Okay. All right. So traveler's installed, and here's my. Uh, my main sheet so let's and this is why we put a stopper knot at the end of the main sheet <laughs> so it doesn't go flying off so we're gonna pull this tight and look at that it was all twisted and now it's not twisted because this swivel and this swivel keep it from twisting so that's done that's a beautiful modification I love that one so that's good I am tickled with that one okay now uh, one of the other modifications since I'm looking at it uh, because I don't think they uh, they don't provide this, but the rudder and putting a bungee in the rudder to keep it under the seat. Now I have the performance lee boards. The standard lee boards go under the seat, uh, but I have the performance ones, so they're under the under the main seat over there. But the back seat here, so that's where the rudder goes. And I just had to buy a bungee cord to actually put it in place. You can see this is where it fits. I need and it showed it looked like every picture I saw you want the metal parts going in, not out. So put that in like that. Now of course you leave it there, it's gonna come to slide now, it's gonna fall out and make a big mess. So they suggest you get a bungee cord. They want you want a three-foot bungee cord. Now you're probably wondering, okay, why'd you put knots in the bungee cord? Good question. I'm glad you asked. <laughs> so put these in down here. Like that. And there's a pad eye. You probably can't see because the rubber is coming out, but there's the pad eye that I'm going to put those into. So, 
down. Cords down here like so. Hook that pad eye up here. And do the other pad eye. And the other hook into that pad eye. So now they both go into pad eye. All right, so you'll see that I got the bungee. Now, what's with the knots? This. So the knots hold the rudder up almost like, like a shock absorber. So it kind of holds it there and really keeps it from coming out. So I thought the knots worked pretty well. So that's how you store the rudder. Again, you get your own bungee cords. Uh, would be nice if I found gray to match the seat, but they didn't have any. I like blue. I'm always partial to blue. Okay, next modification. Uh, actually, we'll do the boom modification since it's right here. So, uh, one of the things I talked about was putting in a little cleat under here. I guess I should have undone this before. Because I can't reach it now. <laughs> We're going to do a cut here. <laughs> Okay, so the next modification was adding a cleat down here to this Cunningham line to make it easy to, to put it in. So you can see, and I'll show it down here, you can see the cleat right here. I went ahead and screwed it up there. Originally I was going to put it here, but then that would not allow the screws, don't want to go too far. I was thinking about doing it here. problem with that is uh, somebody leans up against that, it's going to feel it on the back. Namely the Admiral. <laughs> so, uh, ooh, underneath. And actually, the bonus about underneath, the great thing, is that when you when you pull it underneath and you cleat it, I did that. I don't bother you. So when you pull it underneath, you cleat it, okay, nice and tight. To release, it's just a pull down. So it's almost it's just like quick. So I don't have to do a knot or anything. So I absolutely adore this modification. <laughs> Just pull it in, pull it tight, you want to release, boom, done, release. So, like that one. Okay. And Debbie at Portland Pudgy, you can have that one for free. <laughs> Good mod. And I, I think I can't remember how much the cleat is. Probably like 20 bucks, I think, or something for that little cleat. Okay. Next modification, coming right up. Okay, so the next modification is going to be the sail, reefing the sail. Now, why do we reef the sail? Two reasons. One, you get a hard wind, a hard blow, you got really heavy wind, you want to reef. You want to reduce your sail so you're not out of control and you're going to drive you nuts. Second is, keep the Admiral happy so the boom's not hitting her head. That's the real one. Yeah. All right. So, I went over how I constructed the reefing points, and you can see they're just dangling right now. Um, but again, they can be snapped on right like that and put out of the way. Okay, so to reef this bad boy, we're going to pull those down because we know we're going to reef. And we need to release the Cunningham, which I already did. And I probably want to release the main sheet so it's not pulling because I've got to pull the boom up. So we're going to pull the boom up to this webbing point here. I feel like I'm on the water. <laughs> I, only have a, I have a couple of logs on the back of the bottom of the, the dinghy. So I'm going to release this one here and pull this up about there. And actually, I'm going to step out of the boat because <laughs> the wood blocks ain't cutting it. Right, I'm going to release that one, come up here, and the wind's catching the sail, so I'm having to pull the sail <laughs> against the wind. Yay! And I'm gonna, that's the one reefing point that was already in there. Now I'm looking in here, I'm going, oh, well, okay. You know what? I probably, I'm just gonna let that go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in place. That would probably be good. And this one, I bet I could do that one after I reef maybe. Well, let's see. All right, uh, come on back. All right, so this is the original point for the boom. So we'll take that off. And we'll release this clue again this is the clue we'll release this too we'll just drop the boom down now this might be different 
when you're on the water. Right now, I'm not. So, <laughs> I'm just going to do this. Alright. So I'm going to start rolling it up here. Now you want to roll it anytime you have a glass. Roll it will keep the glass from getting creases in it. You don't want you don't want creases in your glass. Okay, I should probably not fight the wind. <laughs> it's like the wind's blowing this way. I'm like, ooh, over here. <laughs> that way I'm not fighting the wind. You know, and even if you're in a hurry, it doesn't have to be as pretty. Alright, roll that up. Probably tighter than it needs to be, but it'll unroll once I let it go on the snap. So I'll snap this on. Snap in the back. I can get it lined up. Okay. Same thing here. Pretty good. That rolled it up pretty easy. So far, my devious little plan is working. Okay, I gotta attach this, the clue line. Trick is, I don't want to go through here again. I do want to leave this attached though. So, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it, bring it right up there, because that's the actual reefing point. bit here and then go in here like this so it kind of keeps the roll yeah that works better okay learn by playing around okay and through here <laughs> and I let go ah! <laughs> come back come back okay you can't do that on the water <laughs> Okay, pull that tight. <clears throat> okay, and it reaches to... There we go. Pull that. Oh yeah, there we go. That looks nice. That looks pretty reefed. Give me a better shot here, hold on. Alright. That reef looks good. I got the reefing points holding. And got uh, that. You know what? Oh, I bet I can, so I can take this last one and just put it around there. There we go. And then we should put, check their cunning hand here. Wrap that around. Make sure I can wrap that around the mast. Yep. And into that cleat underneath. Oh, yeah. I like that. <laughs> like that a lot. Alright, this is why we put a stopper knot again on the main sheet. There we go, we are reefed. And there's plenty of headroom sitting down. I can sit down, you can tell, it goes over my head. And the more important part is it goes over the Admiral's head. <laughs> Alright, so that's the, that's the reefing modification for the Portland Pudgy that I have come up with. Uh, that is my idea. You're free to steal it, and there's no copyright involved. All right. Okay. The only other thing I thought about, and I thought against it, was to have a place just kind of like maybe that, that C-clamp and do the same thing with the main sheet where I could just clamp it down somewhere and hold it so I wouldn't have to, you know, hold it all the time. Well, in a small boat, you want to hold it. <laughs> you want to be able to release this sucker fast if you need to let it go. So the idea of me sticking something in here to cleat it down. Now you can. I mean, there are two cleats in the back here that I had installed. So I could technically cleat it. But, you know, you want to be careful on the water with lots of wind that if you get hit pretty hard, you're going to be going, oh, I, I can't get it off. And by the time you do that, you're flopped over and you're like, hey, <laughs> time for a swim. So I decided not to put any quick cleat in here okay so that's the modifications on our portland pudgy for the 
modification for the main sheet with the swivel, the bungee cord to hold it in the rudder, and the small little cleat up there to hold the Cunningham down, and of course the major, most wonderful thing is the reefing system. Let's just sit here and enjoy this. I'm just tickled with that. <laughs> um, so yeah.